Many gamers right now are balking at the price of the Switch 2 at 450 US dollars. But can you build a budget gaming PC for less? Let's find out. Hey everyone, I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and today we're sharing tips for building a custom gaming PC that will fit your budget. One big benefit of building a gaming PC is that you can choose the components that work best for you while prioritizing price to performance ratio. Here are our top tips for building a budget-friendly gaming PC. The huge number of choices for each component can make it tricky to prioritize and decide where to compromise. You can simplify things by focusing on top value components for the games you play, such as graphics, CPU, memory, or storage, which can directly impact gaming performance. Other components may offer budget-friendlier options, such as choosing older generation models instead of the newest releases. What differentiates a gaming PC from a regular PC is often whether it has a dedicated GPU. While you can play games like CSGO, Roblox, or Rocket League using the graphics integrated into your CPU, most gamers want something with a little more oomph, especially for modern AAA games. The trick to selecting the right GPU for your affordable gaming PC is to balance performance with cost. For example, playing at 1080p instead of 1440p allows you to save money by selecting a mid-range card yet still enjoy a smooth experience. A GPU from a previous generation will avoid the premium prices that you'd pay for the latest models. The foundation of your system where all other components will connect is the motherboard. The CPU is the system's brain. The two work together and must be compatible. Luckily, a basic motherboard should suffice for most builds, especially if you aren't planning to overclock or use multiple high-performance Gen 5 SSDs. Building on a budget means you don't need to invest in a high-end motherboard with superfluous features so you can put your cash into components that directly enhance gaming performance. Your CPU, on the other hand, can affect your game logic, physics, AI, and other background tasks and should be able to keep up with your GPU to avoid bottlenecks. A CPU that's a couple of generations old with a good balance of core count, clock speed, and price can still provide decent gaming performance. A gaming PC needs storage like pizza needs cheese. You should prioritize a gaming SSD for this type of build since it's where your game library will live, and an SSD will provide faster boot and load times than a hard disk drive. Kingston Fury Renegade SSD is an excellent choice for a gaming PC since it provides great responsiveness and quick boot times for your new machine. When building an affordable gaming PC, priorities are paramount. For instance, while RGB RAM adds visual appeal to a build, regular non-RGB RAM is more economical and sacrifices no performance, giving you extra budget to invest in other performance-enhancing components like your SSD or GPU. This applies to other components that offer RGB options too. You can always add the blinky lights later with ARGB light strips and other accessories, some under $15. We've talked about prioritizing components and savings to be had on others, but a PC case with decent airflow and a solid power supply unit are important too. Always look for a PSU with enough wattage and an 80 plus rating, and consider features like over voltage and short circuit protection. Many builders sleep on the PSU, but getting something quality can save you many headaches down the road. The long and short of it is building an affordable gaming PC doesn't mean having to compromise on performance. With key components prioritized and unnecessary extras avoided, you can build a capable computer on a budget able to deliver excellent gaming experiences for the games that you play the most. Do you have a budget gaming rig that you'd like to brag about? Let us know in the comments. And below, I'll post my budget build as well, which I'm happy to say is just under the Switch 2 price when getting the GPU on sale. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I will see you next time with more DIY in 5.